Are you surprised when you hear people describe Remain as the left-wing option and Leave as the right-wing option? I am rather surprised, although um, we seem to lack some prominent leadership on the left on this issue, which is, is very disappointing. Historically, Leave, uh, driven by precisely the kinds of concerns that should be important to uh, a rising and insurgent left across Europe today, issues of democratic accountability and control, um, sovereignty over our economies, etc., um, are, are very important issues for the left um, and are issues that really should be pointing us to uh, severely questioning membership of this body that, that restricts our ability to pursue a left-wing agenda. Obviously, Greece is the extreme example, but we've been told loud and clear uh, in those circumstances that there can be no uh, democratic vote against the European treaties, and therefore no democratic vote uh, in favor of a new economy, an ecological economy, an economy owned by workers and, and consumers and, uh, and by local communities. And uh, the European Union is a great obstacle to moving in that direction. So some people are putting this vote forward as a choice between a lot of change and the status quo. Do you think voting to remain in the EU is a vote for the status quo? I think the EU at the moment is a train heading very fast in a, a very dangerous direction. You've only to look at the, the politics of places like Hungary and Austria, soon France, to see that there's a, a rising fascist tide within Europe that's understandable in the context of a, a set of constraints that give us deflation, austerity, uh, limits on, on uh, democratic accountability and participation. And so the idea that by simply staying within the European Union, we're not going to be heading in a very da dangerous direction um, rather quickly, I think is deeply misguided. Uh, we need to get off this train and we need to start helping others to get off this train before it starts delivering us into some cataclysmic uh, circumstances that might even come to resemble uh, the 1930s.